Can I ask everybody to can I ask everybody to take a seat? Good morning, everybody. All right, well, good morning, everybody. I'm thinking as everybody's settling, my, my uh, children all went to a Quaker school, you know, one through five. And it was always amazing to watch the, uh, in the in the Quaker school system with the teachers. They would just go, and, and like everything would stop, just like hush. But it's like no, nobody's going to know that signal. So. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome. Uh, just really excited to have all of you here on a uh, just an incredible day for for both of our institutions. Um, I'm Jim Norris, by the way. I'm an '85 graduate of St. Joe's. I currently uh, chair the board of trustees at St. Joe's. Um, and just, again, excited to be here to usher in what really is a new chapter in, in both of our histories. Um, so I know that there are many of you in this room who had a lot to do with having this all come together. So let me just start by just thanking all of you who were instrumental in making this happen, um, not just from the conception of this sort of partnership that we would have, but uh, you know, the devil's always in the details and getting this thing to where we are today is an uh, exciting time. And, and again, thank you to all of you who I'm sure were, in addition to your day jobs, doing a lot of work uh, to make all this happen as well. Um, and let me just say, I, I just couldn't be prouder of my alma mater um, that we've arrived at this point in our history um, to you know, not just expand what we're doing academically, and uh, which is in some ways the most important part of this is the academic expansion for, uh, for a, a proud academic history, uh, but also the geographic expansion. You know, being out in this area, again, just exciting to drive in here today and see this huge development uh, going, going on uh, right across the street here. So um, just clearly an area that is growing and will continue to grow. Um, we tried to sell a couple of our trustees on, uh, maybe, maybe they would be, well, we don't want to retire out here. So uh, but <laughs> we, did, we didn't get anybody to bite. Um, and, um, and I do think it really does, I mean, this was a, on, on its own, this, is, this has been an incredible academic enterprise and the, not just the facilities and the, whatever, but the outcomes clearly show this is what an incredible academic enterprise this is. Um, and again, we're proud of our own academic history at St. Joe's, so I think having us together, both being able to really amplify what each of us has done very well um, and then augment that uh, through, our, through our partnership together. Um, beyond just Philadelphia, but now into this, uh, this broader area. Um, so, you know, for me, as a St. Joe grad, I have many, many family members, from my father to my spouse to my sister, my daughter, my son, now, you know, getting, so there's lots of Norrises who have been through um, sort of a St. Joe's education. Um, so personally and professionally, it's meant a lot to me and to my family uh, to be a St. Joe graduate. Um, and I'm just going to be really excited to see how this expands to this partnership um, with our new partner. Very exciting. Um, so with that, I'm going to welcome the real star of the morning today, uh, Dr. McConnell, um, who is, um, how, what can I say? We're just so excited to have her as our president, our 29th president. And um, Cheryl, stage is yours. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Good morning. Before I begin my remarks, I'd like to acknowledge some special guests. From the Pennsylvania House of Representatives, the Honorable Steve Metzer, the Honorable Izzy Smith Wade L., the Lancaster County Commissioner, the Honorable Ray D'Agostino, and the President and CEO of the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce, Heather Valudes. So thank you all for uh, coming today. Today we celebrate the finalization of the merger of Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences with and into St. Joseph's University. After a year-long process of integration, we're, selling, we're celebrating the closure and all of the accomplishments. 
We have loved our engagement with the Lancaster community and the partners that we have been, had the pleasure of working with over the last year. For example, uh, the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce, the Lancaster Economic Development Corporation, Discover Lancaster, and uh, also our very, very important partners who we have a long-term affiliation with who are vital to our success, Lancaster General Health and Penn Medicine. When we think about uh, all that there is moving forward, we're taking the next step to bring our mission to answer the demands of the region and the students for those in-demand health programs and also bringing our in-demand programs from St. Joseph's University to this region in education and business, uh, to name just a few. In 1851, a little over 175,000, or 170 years ago, that was, yeah, not quite 175,000. Um, we were founded with just a handful of students. But throughout our region, or throughout our history, our mission has stayed the same. And that mission is about committing to have students think critically and to serve the greater good. Our partnership here and our merger with Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences is because they are also committed to that same, same mission of serving uh, the world. So now that the merger is final, our nursing and allied health faculty and students are now part of the oldest and most prestigious higher education network in the country, 27 quality Jesuit universities the, uh, the employees and staff and faculty are now members of that community. And our students will now be graduates of the Jesuit institution, along with the other quality Jesuit institutions in this region, like Georgetown and Boston College and Holy Cross. Uh, so, so what a wonderful thing to bring, to be able to say you are now one of the alumni, uh, the 2.1 million alumni of Jesuit universities in the country. So today, our celebration, and it will continue through the day with receptions and tours. Uh, I say welcome. Welcome to the, to the faculty and staff. Welcome to the students. And I also say thank you. Thank you for all of the hard work that has gone in this last year, and that as we know from having uh, previous mergers, the work that will continue as we continue integration. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Melissa Snyder. She's the founding dean of St. Joseph's newly established School of Nursing and Allied Health. Dr. Snyder. Thank you, President McConnell, and um, good morning, everyone. Um, it is my distinct privilege to officially announce St. Joseph's New School of Nursing and Allied Health, which comprises more than 15 in-demand healthcare-related programs, from nursing to radiography to nuclear medicine and so much more, all distinguished by a foundational liberal arts core and designed to prepare graduates to, for success in a complex and dynamic healthcare environment. There's a significant need for us to infuse the workforce with a new generation of healthcare professionals equipped to meet the challenges of today's environment, but also to embrace the opportunities that it presents. As a nurse, as an educator, and now as the dean of this new school, I'm looking forward to bringing together and expanding upon the deeply rooted legacies and visions of our institutions and focusing on graduating highly skilled and compassionate healthcare professionals who will become the workforce we will all depend upon. On a personal level, I live and work here in, in South Central Pennsylvania. I understand the uniqueness of this area, which is steeped in tradition while also exuding growth and new opportunities, an area that's a patchwork of rural life intersecting with neighborhoods that are suburban and both urban and a region that is blessed with exceptional um, and nationally recognized healthcare systems. The School of Nursing and Allied Health is committed to serving our communities 
as has been done for over 120 years, while expanding our baccalaureate program to the Philadelphia area. The future is bright. I'm excited to see what we can do as we collaborate and partner with our professional colleagues and neighbors here in the Susquehanna Valley and southeastern Pennsylvania. As St. Joe's University continues to build its portfolio of healthcare programs, we will expand our offerings of interprofessional and interdisciplinary educational opportunities. The School of Nursing and Allied Health is ideally positioned to provide healthcare education built upon the legacy of quality while transcending traditional boundaries. We're committed to cultivating a dynamic learning environment where aspiring nurses and health professionals evolve into transformative healthcare leaders. Through innovative learning strategies, immersive clinical experiences, and an unwavering commitment to the holistic well-being of our students and the individuals, families, and communities they care for, the graduates of the School of Nursing and Allied Health will shape the future of healthcare. It's now my pleasure to introduce John Herman, Chief Executive Officer of Penn Medicine, Lancaster General Health, and a member of the St. Joseph's um, University Board of Trustees. Well, good morning, everyone. You know, I remember starting this journey, it was about three years ago when I started this journey, and there were five of us in the room, and we were wondering if this could come to realization. And then I look out across this room, and I see all of the energy that we have here, and it, it reaffirms the path that, the, and the hard work that we've done. Um, Jim, uh, just a, a little bit of side note. Um, for those trustees that may be interested in moving here and retiring here, uh, a couple data points for them if you want to help sell. Uh, this is one of the top five uh, places to retire in the nation. Um, it has a top 50 health care provider within LGH, and we have the number one uh, health system in Pennsylvania that we are part of. So um, great place to live, great health care. Um, I don't think there's a better way to... You know, and I'll say, you know, that, that health care is really predicated upon the whole purpose of why we are here. You know, it's because of our workforce and the incredible skill and the talent that we have in our workforce. And, um, you know, how it, it's because of the educational uh, basis that we're able to provide them as they start their careers or transition their careers and enter into the, uh, the professional side of the work that they do. So it truly is an honor to be here with you today and to celebrate the start of the next chapter of the history of the Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences through the merger with St. Joseph's University. PA College has, a proud, has proudly served South, South Central Pennsylvania in a variety of educational opportunities for over 120 years. 120 years. Uh, LGH has been in existence for 130. So early on, we recognized the critical importance of ensuring that we had a well-educated workforce to deliver the high-quality care that we always are striving to achieve. Beginning uh, as a school of nursing in 1903, Lancaster General Hospital established this school to provide an educational advancement for the hospital's nursing staff and to fulfill the needs of the local community, in the local community provide health care, qualified health care workers. As the region grew, our educational need also grew. And so we added various allied health programs and by 1995, we recognized the need for the nursing and the health sciences program to merge. And we formed the Lancaster Institute, the Lancaster Institute for Health uh, Education. In 2001, we again, that our board uh, and that leadership recognized the need to continue the journey to advance the quality and the depth of education that we're able to provide. And in 2001, the Pennsylvania Department of Education Grant Institute granted the institute the ability to confer degrees. And it became Lancaster General College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Um, the college later, so that was associate's degrees, the college later 
uh, added baccalaureate degrees and an RN to a BN BSN program. Um, the college was renamed to the Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences in 2009 and again expanded the educational offerings with graduate level programs and a doctoral program in nursing in 2017. Penn Medicine Lancaster General Health's mission is to advance the health and well-being of the community we serve. In developing people for great accomplishments is a key part of our strategy to realize that mission. This merger is the next step and as um, our, the, our, our former president said, the next bold step. In our, in our, step, uh, in our strategy to develop uh, that, that workforce, through this partnership with St. Joseph's University and Penn Medicine Lancaster General Health, to continue to expand the opportunities for students and the workforce here in the Lancaster area. Through this creative health education partnership, St. Joseph's and Penn Medicine Lancaster Jonah Health will continue to provide a pathway of rewarding, financially secure careers to residents here in Lancaster. The LG Health employees who are currently enrolled in programs will continue to receive 100% of their tuition covered here at the St. Joseph's Lancaster campus and be guaranteed clinical placement when they complete that degree. In addition, Penn Medicine uh, will reserve clinical spots, spots in Philadelphia to support the extension of the nursing program um, at, at St. Joseph's University at their, at their Hawk Hill campus at our Hawk Hill campus, I guess I need to say. <laughs> Together, St. Joseph's and Penn Medicine and Lancaster General Health will continue to evolve the educational offerings and meet the dynamic healthcare workforce demands of Southeast Pennsylvania. It is now my, now my pleasure to introduce a proud recipient of these educational offerings. Uh, Nita Sutter is a current student in the three-year baccalaureate uh, of nursing program. Thank you, Mr. Herman. Good morning, everyone. I'm excited to be part of this historic moment with the merger of two amazing institutions that have a long history of educating students. This merger expands opportunity for an exceptional healthcare education that I have benefited from for nearly three years. I choose PA College because of its reputation and the quality of its well-respect nursing program. I always wanted to be a critical care nurse and pursue an accelerate Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. I have been very grateful for the education, wisdom, and most importantly, the support from the faculty here at PA College. They have been my biggest champion of my success as a nursing student. Throughout my time, I have learned an immense amount of knowledge and practical experience between classes, sim lab, and clinicals. These have all helped me prepare for a successful career in nursing. I am graduating this May, and I'm excited that the merger will provide even more opportunities for my fellow classmates, and slightly jealous for future students who will get an even more robust experience as a student of St. Joseph's University. I will be very proud to be an alumna of St. Joseph University this May. Thank you. All right, Ms. Sutter, thank you. We are also proud to have you as a St. Joe graduate <laughs> as well. Um, let, let me, we're gonna close the program right now. Uh, let me just introduce the uh, the very Reverend uh, William Forey, Vicar General and Moderator of the Cura for the Diocese of Harrisburg, um, and a proud SJU alum from the class of uh, 1984. Uh, by the way, after 
uh, Father's remarks, uh, prayer. You're all welcome to a reception uh, immediately following. I sat here in the out here in the atrium, um, and there's also going to be tours of the simulation center uh, for anybody who's interested. So, um, Father, please. Thank you, and good morning, everyone, and welcome. Again, I'm Father Bill Forey, Vicar General for the Diocese of Harrisburg, graduate of St. Joe's Hawk Hill Campus, <laughs> and uh, my major is international relations. What do you do with that degree? But you become a priest. <laughs> um, so this is a proud day f for me as, as well, because I, I love um, the Hawks, I love St. Joe's. And in the Diocese of Harrisburg, we're a 15-county area or region. This is the first time in our history that we have a Catholic institution of higher education and learning in the Diocese of Harrisburg. So it's a big day for, for the Catholic community in the Diocese of Harrisburg. Please pray with me. Lord our God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, your Son healed our infirmities and diseases. When he sent forth his disciples to preach the gospel, he commanded them to visit and heal the sick. It is holy ground to tend to the needs of those who are hurting, ill, or in need in any way. Today we realize a long-held dream by St. Joseph University leadership to one day boast of offering a nursing program under its academic umbrella. We gather here today to celebrate the start of this new journey as St. Joseph University furthers the tradition of forming nurses and leaders in healthcare from the Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences here in Lancaster. We ask for your blessing upon us as we enthusiastically step forward into a bright future filled with new friends. It is with no small sense of awe and appreciation that St. Joseph's University will now be a significant part of the School of Nursing which has a long history of serving South Central Pennsylvania through excellence in healthcare education for 120 years. Bless and protect the students who seek certificates, degrees, and programs of this institution and fill them with wonder and hope. Remind them again and again of their belovedness, their promise, and their sacred worth. We ask for your blessing too upon the faculty, staff, and administration who are entrusted to form and mold students into healthcare professionals. Be attentive to our plea this day as we humbly ask you to bless us and the mission of this school. Let us love each other fearlessly and seek your will earnestly all the days of our lives. We ask all these things in and through your holy name. Amen. <laughs> 